Alrighty, so this is gonna be quite a different slash weird video coming from me, uh, but it's been in my headlines on all my social media platforms over the last couple days, and I wanted to just kind of have a conversation about it more so than uh, stating some facts and opinions. I'm gonna go over some things, but I just wanna let everyone know that this is more a discussion and it's gonna be strictly about the theme park industry. So no, this isn't me complaining that the coronavirus is only impacting theme parks. I'm not first world problems. I just wanted to have a discussion based on something that my channel focuses on mainly. So don't worry, I'm not complaining that, oh no, this is gonna impact the theme park industry. I'm so sad. Trust me, I'm more concerned about the other things that coronavirus is going to impact than the theme parks. But I'm gonna talk about theme parks in this video because that is what my channel does. So nonetheless, um, the U.S. stock market is sharply lower um, because people are finally starting to panic about the coronavirus. Now, the funny thing is, I was talking about this the other day. The same day that the world started to panic and the governments were starting to panic about the coronavirus, saying that, it, you know, it could become a pandemic. We were also hearing news that um, kind of like a cure, the cure, a cure isn't the right word, um, has been shipped out. Its first shipment has been shipped out. So I was sitting there questioning, why are we sitting here causing mass panic, telling everyone to go grab this, this, and that, and you know, it could become a pandemic, prepare yourselves, blah, blah, blah. Yet uh, a serum has been created and it shipped out um, out of, was I'm, I'm not going to say the name because I don't know where it's been shipped. It's been shipped out of one state in the States. From what I understand from the article, it's ready so I'm just sitting here like, why are we creating mass panic? Can't we just, you know, <laughs> calm down a little bit and uh, get ourselves together? It's not that bad. It has a 1% death rate currently. Only 1% of people are dying from it. And it's mainly out of China and Iran, countries that are much poorer. You know, it's not as clean. Access to maybe cleanliness and showers and all that isn't as... Um, easy as it is here in like, you know, a first world country. But nonetheless, that's just an opinion. That's not a fact. Uh, but it looks like the entire entertainment industry is suffering um, on top of the stock market crashing. They're separate, uh, suffering for quite a different reason. It seems that Six Flags reporting really low numbers has impacted them um, as a whole. We saw Cedar Fair. They've been dropping ever since Six Flags reported their numbers. They're not dropping anywhere near to what Six Flags is dropping because Cedar Fair had some strong numbers to to pose and, you know, their dividend went up and all that. So they're, they're, it's quite a different story. You're not going to see them drop like Six Flags. Six Flags has just been dive coaster after dive coaster after dive coaster. In fact, if you look at the trend, it almost looks like a dive coaster. You got your dive, then you got your inversions and the mid-course break run and the second dive. It's quite funny, actually. But nonetheless... Their stock has dropped again today to $25 a share. This is getting quite scary. Um, so nonetheless, I'm going to discuss, and I want you guys to comment down below, do you think the coronavirus is going to be a big problem for theme parks in 2020? We're hearing that, you know, again, we're hearing, I don't want to spread any fear. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus. Please, no karma. <laughs> but I'm not afraid of the coronavirus. Um, and I don't think anyone really should be that scared as long as, you know, you're washing your hands, you're coughing into your, your elbow area, your sleeve, and you're respecting others. Wear that mask if it does get bad. Get the bottled water in your house, maybe some canned food if you must. Um, I don't think it's going to really get to that point. Again, it's not as scary as the flu even. Only 1% of people who get it are unfortunately passing away from it. Um, so I don't think we have anything to really be that afraid of. Yeah, it maybe it will become a pandemic and maybe, you know, it is something to fear a little bit, but be prepared. Don't fear. Um, but nonetheless, will it impact Six Flags, Cedar Fair and other theme park companies? We know that in China, the Walt Disney or Disneyland had to shut down um, just to be prepared and to prevent massive spread. But now we're hearing that no matter what. Uh, what they do quarantine wise, it's going to spread regardless, uh, should theme park shut down. Um, we're hearing the U S announced yesterday that, uh, to be prepared for businesses and everything to shut down. If that happens, boy, will that impact the business world? So do you think the coronavirus is going to impact the theme park and entertainment, um, companies around North America in 2020? Could we see Parks like Canada's Wonderland or Cedar Point or King's Island or Six Legs Great Adventure choosing to not open or closing for extended periods of time if it does become a pandemic. And what does that look like financially? Are companies prepared? 
to financially um, close their doors or their gates for X amount of dates or for all of 2020 or maybe just the spring of 2020 or early summer 2020. What does that look like and what will that translate into? It, like, truthfully, I can't sit here and look at that. Would a company like Six Legs, would that be the end of them if they had to close their gates? Like, are they that far down that if they weren't able to produce revenue, would that be the end of them? It, like, it, it's a very tricky conversation because it's like I, I i literally don't have an answer as you can tell like uh i don't know i i mean even cedar fair are they prepared to shut their gates at their parks for x amount of dates i'm not sure i think cedar fair could survive like a spring and a summer and maybe even one year i don't think six flags could so again these are opinions these are not facts i don't think six flags could survive a large period of time of closing their gates cedar fair i think could survive a little bit longer than six flags SeaWorld Entertainment, oof, that's a tricky one. I know Walt Disney World can survive. Um, they're, they're, they're just one of those conglomerates that they have lots of other avenues of income and money outside of theme parks and entertainment. You know, you got your movies. But then again, what does it look like if you're quarantined? How does that impact a business? Do banks still come after you for your money? Like, are you? do you still owe your debt if you're not able to go to work, if you're not able to produce income? What does that look like as a whole? If anyone knows, comment down below, because I've been thinking about these questions a lot, and it's extremely interesting to me. And I, I, again, it's why I wanted to make an opinion-based video slash discussion, because as much as I don't know anything about what would happen, because again, I haven't been through this before, nor have I put any thought into what would happen or what it would look like, I find it to be like a really interesting discussion. So I'm really interested in what you guys are going to comment down below in terms of what you think the business world, especially theme park wise, is going to look like if the corona coronavirus does become a pandemic. It's quite interesting what businesses will survive, what won't, what does surviving look like, and what does not surviving look like during the coronavirus. Interesting. Anyways, I'm super excited to see your guys' comments down below. I know I didn't really provide much uh, information on this, all I know is Six Legs Entertainment is already down 7.3% today alone. Um, and their share value has been dropped from $37 to $30 as an estimated price. And uh, a lot of this and is in part due to the fear or threat of coronavirus anxiety in the United States. In the spring, it's becoming a huge fear that spring is going to be hit by a lot of this coronavirus anxiety forcing people to like not want to go to public events like a theme park or concerts and stuff like that. So what is that going to translate into and what's that going to look like? Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, I know that uh, it's a very touchy subject. And again, I want to instill that this is not a fear based video. Don't be afraid of the coronavirus. Be prepared for it. If anything, don't panic plan. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, um, and subscri subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.